Oh, my goodness. You know, we were just talking about quilias this morning, actually after the sunrise safari. And here we go. We've arrived at not the big plains, but it's one of the other plains on Cheetah Plains. And we've got a huge flock flying around in the grass. And they're the most, it's the most amazing thing to see, especially in this lovely. gorgeous we had the warthog but can you can you hear it can you hear them <gasps> isn't that incredible their wings flapping Isn't that just mesmerizing? And especially when you put so many of them in the tree, you can really see the branches take a toll, how they all bend down. But incredible. Now, quilias, they must have the, I reckon that they could have the largest population of birds in the whole of Africa. I read somewhere that it's at about 1.5 billion quilias, red-billed quilias in the whole of Africa. I don't know how recent or updated that was, but that is a massive number of birds. And they form the largest flocks. I mean, this is tiny in comparison of what you could see if you go in, uh, to the Kalahari into Namibia, where you see masses of flocks coming down and all drinking at watering holes. It's really, really quite beautiful. And you see here comes another lot. So, you know, there could be a couple of different flocks but it just takes one, look how they're all da darting out of the bush, one to fly away, and then the rest all follow. It's like a tornado of birds, it's absolutely phenomenal. Alicia, you said that it's like they're dancing in the air. It is, it, you know, when they fly like that, it almost looks like they're gusting with the wind, and like how I could only imagine when the wind swirls. That's sort of what the quilias look like they're doing. They very gracefully will fly off to the left, and then they go up and dive down and start flying towards the right and back again. This has to be one of the most calming things that you can see out here in the bush. This is, of course, just my opinion. You can hear them all chirping, listen to them chattering. You might have to turn your volume up quite a bit. It's quite far away. Very talkative. And then when they take off, absolute silence. But you just hear, of course, their wings. You just hear, of course, the flapping of the wings. I think, Bree Bree, you said that this is 100th on your bird list. Congratulations. That's fantastic. And it's good to hear. Oh, 400, 400, goodness gracious, that's even better than fantastic, that's spectacular. <laughs> that's our new word that we're all saying now, spectacular. We need to think of some things, but that's pretty impressive. 400 birds is not easy. It can definitely take you quite a while. So if you want to get to the magic number 400, like Bree Bree has just gotten to, you better start. Look at that, there they go again. Oh, wow. And it's a much bigger group since we started watching them. I think about three or four different flocks have joined in. Just soft little whispers of the birds as they fly around. Oh, my goodness. I almost don't know what to say. It's, it's just so mesmerizing. I can't take my eyes off of them. How they don't bump into each other is also amazing. Because look at them, they're flying, and of course they're obviously communicating with each other. We don't know what they're saying. But they just have everything so well planned that they don't bump into each other. I'm sure every now and then some of the youngsters, some of the juveniles must get a little bit lost. <laughs> 